Hello, I'm Tom Beetle Bailey, better known as the husband of Rhonda B. That's Rhonda B. for Bailey. And we're here to talk about the bath products that she's been making. This is kind of a way to supplement her income, and it's been really helpful. And I have some notes here. Uh, we're going to try to go to Facebook Live and put the word out there so people are aware of uh, the neat things that she's making and how enjoyable they can be to you if you're interested in some bath remedies. Uh, she makes all of her products with natural ingredients. She uses essential oils, uh, which have many health benefits to them. And she does not use fragrances unless asked or there's no essential oil uh, made of that scent, such as coconut. She can make any of her own products with any essential oils or combination. You just have to ask, and she makes it for you. Uh, we have our website that's Rhonda B's Bath Remedies uh, dot blog because we set it up with a blog through WordPress, and she has uh, an email this and the address. Way. This is in the if way. This is in the way. This one? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Rhonda B's running the camera for us, too, which is great. So it's really helpful. Um, <clears throat> so that's how you contact her to let her know what you're interested in. Um, and she'll respond as quickly as possible. And sometimes I try to help her out a little bit, too. Um, I'm pretty much confined to my wheelchair or the jerry chair that we have. Um, so it's difficult for me to do some things, uh, even sitting too long at a computer is, is difficult. Uh, sitting here is difficult, but it's worth it to let you all know about this. So all of our prices have tax and shipping and handling included in there. So the prices may look pretty high, but if you're local here in St. Augustine, Florida, or Palm Coast, or uh, even Jacksonville, uh, if you're somewhere where we could meet up with you, um, maybe even Daytona, uh, we can get the products to you and uh, we can knock that price for the shipping and handling off and she'll gladly give you a price that reflects that taking off the shipping and handling. Um, she does have an email and a P.O. box so you can send a money order instead of using credit cards if you don't want to purchase it um, online. Uh, we have a Facebook uh, for Rhonda B's Bath Remedies as well. So, here's the products here. The Bath Bombs. These little doogies right here. Uh, some of them even have some uh, glitter in them. And I tried them. I even tried this glittery one. Um, I really enjoyed it and liked the effect of it. And Rhonda's written some notes here about them for you. They are uh, $12, including the tax, the shipping, and handling. Or you can get two of them for just $17. And that includes, of course, the tax, the shipping, and handling. Uh, her bath bombs are made with coconut oil to help give your skins moisture, as well as uh, they have a nice scent to them. Uh, she does have bath bombs to help you if you have a stuffy head. Again, she can make these with any uh, essential oils that you choose. Oh, that was the stuffy head one. This is the stuffy head one? Mm -hmm. And then the glittery one, the glittery one's the one I tried. And man, my the skin grapefruit. felt so smooth and silky. And I, I did have glitter on me when I was done. Uh, but it was kind of neat. She liked it. Um, <laughs> and But it's not too glittery. It doesn't stain the tub, which some of them do. Um, it's really, they're really good products, and, and I've tried them. I, I don't think I tried the stuffy head one, mm -hmm. um, but I do have allergy trouble and have stuffy heads, so that's going to be my next thing. But they, they last surprisingly long, uh, you know, they fizz, and, but man, they're, they're just, it, it really made a difference to the bath. And my children, uh, the three little girls at least, uh, that I have, 10, 12, and 14, Abby, Maddie, and Olivia. Shout out. They uh, enjoyed them too. And at least the two younger ones did. I don't think there was another one for uh, Olivia. So, uh, the shower fizzes. I haven't tried those, but Rhonda has tried those. So this one here, this yeah. one here, and this one down mm -hmm. here. Yeah. These are for people who just don't take a bath. You know? 
know, you just don't they prefer take a baths, shower. or you prefer a shower. Yeah, it's not that they don't wash. It's that they prefer a shower. So uh, the shower fizzes are $25, including tax, shipping, and handling, or two of them for $35. And they last a long time. They last a really long time because the way these work, and this was new to me, the way these work is um, you sprinkle a few drops of water to release the scent while you're in the shower. So you open it up, put it in the shower, you sprinkle a few drops of water in there, right, Rhonda? Mm-hmm. Uh, but she said, don't sprinkle too much. Wow, that's nice. Don't sprinkle too much because the scent can be overpowering. It's like, it's just, it's too much. So that's how quality and strong they are. You sprinkle just a few drops and you can enjoy that. Um, and the stuffy head one, this because, is the stuffy mm -hmm. head one that I was holding up. That one, uh, works great uh, in a hot shower to help open up your sinuses. So, you know, it's it's kind of doing the job for you, you know, when you're in the shower. This one, uh, that's this one's not grapefruit. for stuffy head, but it's grapefruit, and it just that's what we have makes your shower. hot shower nice. And, and, yeah, that one we have in the shower right now. The Dead Sea Salt Scrubs. Some people are, are very familiar with this. Um, I wasn't familiar with it at all. And then Rhonda was sharing with me, how, uh, well, first of all, they're $30, including tax, shipping, and handling, or $45 for two of them. And it looks really mucky. Let me open that a little bit. Um, don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you reach in there and you pull out some of that. Now, some people are very familiar with this. You know what I'm talking about. But for those who don't, um, Rhonda's Dead Sea Salt Scrubs are made with real Dead Sea salt from the Dead Sea, which contains several more minerals than just plain sea salt. So you could have a sea salt scrub, but it's not a Dead Sea salt scrub. The Dead Sea is a little different, and the Dead Sea salt has more minerals, which are better for your body. Now, these are all natural, so they may not look pretty, or, you know, compared to what you see in the store, but they are better for you. So nobody's going to see you using that necessarily. Um, we did put them in nice decorative jars, but when you look at it, you know, it's kind of like when you see seaweed and you're thinking, oh, man. Uh, but if you use it, you'll see the difference. Um, she also uses pure grapeseed oil, which doesn't clog, clog your skin like some <laughs> some oils do. She can make these scrubs with regular sea salt instead of dead sea salt as well if you'd like a more inexpensive version, but this dead sea salt uh, costs a little bit more. And again, those are uh, $30 or you can get two for just $45. She's also developing some sugar scrub, uh, which are interesting uh, for those who are interested and that all you got to do is let her know on the website through the email. Bath teas. Bath teas. That's what these are. $15 for two. And that will, I'm for sorry, $15, but it will last you for two baths. So $15 for one of these, but it lasts you two baths. You could probably stretch it to three, but it wouldn't no, be no, as no. effective. No, there's enough tea bags for two baths. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. There's Well, there's only three in there, but I'll put six in there. Okay, so you put three. But you'll, you'll get two of these. Oh, okay, I see. So in, if you if you got it in the mail, you'd get this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this one would actually have a few more in it. No, no, no. They both, no. Oh, all together. You it's... put that in the bath. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Because the, the bath. The uh, tea bags uh -huh. can burst in the bath. That's why oh, I have I it see. in the, so you put another this bag. Whole thingy. Mm -hmm. Put it in whole oh, thing okay. in the bath. Oh, okay. So you don't open this up no, and no. use it at Christmas for regifting. Mm -hmm. You keep this whole bag. Yeah. Keep those in there because it's real. This is real stuff that she's used. Tea baths. They're fifteen dollars, and it's two baths word worth. Um, of course, that fifteen dollars includes. Um, Tax, shipping, and handling. 
And you can get, um, for $20, you can get the four baths worth, which would be double this. Mm -hmm. It would be four yep. bags. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that that's terrific. Now, these are just like they sound. And I'm going to look over this because she told me, and I've never done it yet, but they're tea for your bath water. And what you do is you place them in the bath, and you let them steep while you're taking your bath. And they have a nice floral scent, since they have chamomile and lavender in them. And uh, it's just very nice and relaxing. So I'm going to try that one next. These are new to me, and she made these not too long ago, so I'm going to give those a try too. Um, I do still take baths and like it. So now we're going to look at the bath salts, which I have used. I've used a couple of her bath salts. Um, these bath salts come in these really nice bottles here, and they are $25, including tax, shipping, and handling, or you can get two of them for $35. So, and if, again, if you're local in the St. Augustine area, Jacksonville area, Palm Coast, maybe even, like I said, down to Daytona, we can cheapen the price because we won't have to include the shipping and handling. But these bath salts are great for relaxing uh, in the evening uh, or uh, great for waking you up in the morning to help give you energy. Uh, the lavender helps you to relax uh, while the wake up one, which is the citrus one. Yeah, yeah. I think I left it out there. Oh, okay. It might be, it might be off the camera. But that, uh, the, lavender, the lavender one helps you relax while the wake-up one the does just one. that. It wakes you up with some nice citrus scents. Now, That's the lavender one. Yeah, yeah like, this is yeah. the lavender one. And I want to tell you, I have uh, polyneuropathy. So I have lots of muscle spasms and aches and pains and sore muscles. And my nerves are all uh, confused and telling me that, uh, you know, all kinds of grief physically. This is wonderful. I use this uh, and I'll keep using it. The lavender one surprised me at first because I don't, I, I, I wasn't aware that the, because these products are real, there's little pieces of what is that, lavender seeds? No, it's lavender flowers. Lavender flowers in there because the stuff she's using is real stuff. And so I put it in the bath, and I thought, what are those little things floating around in there? Um, and I, I got in the warm bath, and I put this in there. Oh, it made me feel so good, and the fragrance was amazing. And the way it left my skin, too, was, was pretty incredible, too. And then when I tried the citrus one, um, or rosemary one, uh, I liked that one just as much. It's rosemary and lavender. This is rosemary and lavender. I enjoyed this one just as much. And um, they they just really soothed my muscles, made me feel I relaxed. jasmine also. I haven't tried the jasmine yet. So so th those are, are terrific. A lot of people who have caught this video or whatever because it was tagged and you're interested in bath products or beauty products or bath remedies you already know these things but I'm telling you from somebody who really didn't know much I always use Epsom salts you know I buy Epsom salts and it would not really help but I would do it anyway because the physical therapy and the doctor would say try it and it didn't really didn't really work this stuff is is just real and raw and all of the extra little things that they put in there to put more in the bag is not there. What you're getting is a real quality product with, with the real stuff. Okay, enough to say about that. The soaps. She currently uh, makes her soap using the melt and pour method, but she's working on trying cold and hot processed soaps. Is that right, Rhonda? Mm -hmm. Okay. The Lavender Bar Soap, uh, $10, including tax, shipping, and handling, uh, or $15 for two of them. This is a nice, light scent of lavender. Um, she made some little samples for me to try, 
and I gave them to my girls to try, and I was amazed because I'd never used a soap that was this nice, and the way it felt on my face, and when I was all done rinsed off, there was no residue, there was nothing, it was just, it, it was great. Um, she hand makes this stuff, pours it, takes time to cure the soaps, some of them take time mm -hmm. to cure, um, so we're stressing to people, you know, call, put your order in so that she has time, and she can do, you know, more than just lavender, mm -hmm. I have a friend, uh, Cheryl, who was asking about, um, uh, grapefruit, I think it was, yeah, yeah. and so we're gonna, we're gonna be making, but you just let her know, and, uh, if she doesn't know or have the stuff to make it, she'll get the stuff to make it, and make it for you, um, and it takes time, so she puts time into it, but the lavender one is the one that I, I first used, and I was amazed by it, um, and because it's only $10, uh, somebody asked me, uh, I make decorative rocks. I got them down here. Rhonda didn't know I had these. Uh. I'm not going to go on talking about my decorative rocks, but I love to paint rocks. And sometimes I do funny, silly frogs and lizards and stuff like that. A lot of people like the sunsets. But a lady asked me to mail her one that had a sunset on one side and a lizard on the other side. And it costs like $8 to ship a rock, a small rock like this. And so what I recommend to people is if you're interested uh, in that, why not buy a $10 bar of soap that's including the tax, shipping, and handling, and you get the bar of soap, which is wonderful, but then you'll, you'll get the rock too that you were interested in. Um, why not? So we're including a free rock with any of these products, any of the orders. and If they want one. If you want one. We're not doing it if you don't want it or you don't ask. But if you say, I want a rock, then uh, in the email, then we'll put one in there. But yeah, we're not going to put one in with every single order. But if you specifically ask, and you could even say, I want one of the sunsets or whatever, we can put it in there. Okay, the charcoal face soap. $12.00. Uh, including tax, shipping, and handling, of course, or 19 for two of them. This soap contains charcoal, tea tree, essential oils, and honey. And these are all great for your face. Uh, I tried this one as well. I have never had soap with pieces of charcoal in it. And I thought, oh, that's not going to be good. It was. It's not pieces of charcoal. Well, what is that? Black stuff. It's, it's charcoal, but they're not like pieces of charcoal. Oh, it's charcoal. It looks yeah. like pieces. Yeah. It looks well, like chunks well, of charcoal, like that you would put on your Because grill. I made the charcoal, and then, then... You made the charcoal. And then I cut them up, and then I put it in I the soap. I remember you doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I use this as well, and I really... I have my doubts about this. I really did. I'm like, no, this is working. I want to stick with the lavender. She said, just try it. Just let me know what you think. And I'm like... Okay, and I was surprised, and my face uh, at times uh, will dry up, or sometimes it'll be too oily, and I don't know how, but I guess it's the stuff that's in here, the tea tree, essential oils, the honey, the charcoal, it helped just kind of balance things out for me, and so I, I still use that, I really like that too. I don't know if I can get it to stand up right. So she has everything shrink-wrapped, too. So when you get it, it's not like just a bar of soap wrapped in tissue or something. She really tries to um, make them nice uh, and, and and put it in a package that's, that, you know, something that you're excited to see and, and receive. Now, the last thing we have on here, uh, but this isn't all the stuff. Here's some of the oils and things that she uses, I, I guess. Right, Rhonda? That's what those yeah. are. Yeah. Um, although that's for the beard oil. If you, you, you see, want. Oh, beard oh, oil. oh, that's for beard oil. And then these are different oils that you use mm -hmm. and put in things. Now, even though you see these products here, she can make more than just this. This is mm -hmm. just the start of it. This is just the kickoff mm -hmm. and the grand first thing of doing it. And she, you know, if you're interested in something you don't see here or you uh, 
purchase something else that you really like and say, hey, have you ever heard of this? Or I tried this and I like it. Can you make this? She can. We can do it. Um, and or if, if we I can't, can't and I'll let her know. Right. If we can't, we're going to be honest and say, you know what? I don't know how. But she'll do her homework and look up how to do it and then see uh, if it's feasible to do it and see if she can do it and see if we have the things. But we have bought uh, molds and, and all kinds of stuff to to do it the best we can. The last product I want to talk about for this video is the African Black Soap. I had never heard of this African black soap before. Um, she's selling it for $25, including uh, tax, shipping, and handling, or $35 for two. This comes in a foaming bottle, so you get a nice, rich lather from the start. This is uh, great for shaving, and it's great for faces also. Now, I first heard about African black soap on our honeymoon here in St. Augustine, and we lived in Inverness at the time, and Rhonda had mentioned it, and we went to the oldest uh, drugstore in St. Augustine at the time. Is that what it was? Yeah. And they sold things, and then they closed that up and put the wax museum in there, um, but they w were online for a little while. Now we can't find them, and we don't know if they still exist, but they... I, Rhonda mentioned something about using black soap for me to shave because I break out. I don't know if you can see my neck, but I break out really bad. And when I shave, this gets much, much worse. Um, and yes, I do shave on the sides, um, but that's a you know pretty big area to have to have irritation. Um, and if when I was shaving everything, well not everything, but everything on my face. It was causing uh, irritation, and I was having trouble. They gave me some black soap, and it was really coarse, and and uh, they mixed it with water, so it was a little bit. And then they put it in my hands, and they said, "Okay, now rub it." And I'm I'm just kind of rubbing. They're like, "No, you gotta really rub it." So I rubbed it, and it foamed up, and I was like, "Oh, yeah, that's great!" And it made my hands soft and everything. And they said, "You put that on there, and you shave, and you won't have the irritation." Now Rhonda had heard about that before. I had it. You had it. So, what she's done is put it in this container, and she said, try this, see if it works. I've been using it for a month, maybe two months now, uh, out of this container, because it used, I had it in just a regular container, uh, black soap mixed with water, and I would put it on my hands, and I would rub it, and have to agitate it, and, and mix it with the water, and try to get it foamed up, and, and I would do it, you know, because that's what I had to do. What she's done is mixed it in the right amount and put it in this special dispenser that when you press it, it comes out foamy. Should I do it? Can I do it? You can do it. I'm going to do it. Um, instead of it just coming out in water form oh, and trying no, to agitate do it, again. it. Huh? Do it again. I didn't do it yet. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. There it is. Yeah. It comes out foamy. So I, you don't have to work it up and you're trying to shave and all that. It comes out already lathered for you, so instantly ready. So this is all of our products. I can even use it without soap, but of course I'll do this when we're done. Um, this is not all of the products, that but these so are the funny. products that we have right now. Huh? That is soap. You said you could use it without soap. It I, is meant, soap. I meant you can use it without water. You shouldn't, um, though. <laughs> but you shouldn't, and I'll rinse this off when I'm done. But... Uh, it, Black soap is really good, too. It's antibacteria. And antifungal. And antifungal. And she has little instructions on there. You know, you pump it in there, uh, lather on your face, and you rinse, um, which I will rinse. But anyway, uh, she has on her labels uh, what's in there, um, the ingredients and all of that. She makes this stuff. Um, she, is it okay to say your occupation? I'm sure it is. Yeah, right? okay. Won't get in trouble at work or anything. No. But she uh, is a registered nurse, works 12 hour shifts, sometimes uh, two, three 12 hour shifts in a row. Um, and on her days off, on the limited time that she has, uh, she's making these bath products. We're hoping it will supplement our income and that people will uh, enjoy products just like we're enjoying them. So that's all we have to say for this one. We're gonna uh, we're gonna try to get the word out there and let people know 
But don't forget to just check out Rhonda B's Bath.